Isang magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ai, nagsasabing tara na at matuto sa Math Thinker. Let's go! Our topic for today is solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rule for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we need to recall all the divisibility rules that we have learned in the past lessons. So if you are ready, let's go! Before we go to our lesson, let us have a quick review of factors and multiples. Then what is factors? Factors are numbers that we multiply together to get another number. For example, what are the factors of 40? So we are going to list down all the factors of 40. We have 2 times 20 is equal to 40. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And 5 times 8 is equal to 40. So these are the factors of 40. We have 2, 20, 4, 10, 5, and 8. Now let us proceed to multiples. Multiples is the product of a number and any counting number. Example, what are the multiples of 8? So we are going to list down all the multiples of 8. Starting from 8 times 1 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 8 times 3 is equal to 24. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. Then 8 times 5 is equal to 40. So these are the first 5 multiples of 8. Let's proceed. In solving word problem, we need to follow some steps in order for us to get the correct answer. First, we need to understand the problem. Typically, it answers the question, what is us? And what are the given facts? Okay. Then, the second step is plan. We're in we're going to plan what strategy can we use to solve the problem. Number three, solve. We're going to perform or we need to apply this strategy being used. And the last step is check. We check if our answer satisfies the clues provided. So here is a problem. Teacher Rice aids is greater than 40 but less than 50. His age is divisible by 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. How old is teacher Rai? So to go along with the problem, we need to understand how by answering the question, what is asked? What is the problem asked for? The age of teacher Right. The next is what are the given facts? We have AIDS is greater than 40, AIDS is less than 50, AIDS is divisible by 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. Next step is plan. Since there are just a few number, greater than 40 but uh, less than 50, we will use listing method and elimination. Now let us solve the problem by using the listing method and uh, by applying the divisibility rules. Start with divisible by 2. If the ones digit is even number or divisible by 2. So here are the numbers, 41 to 49. 41, is it divisible by 2? No. What about 42? Yes. What about 43, is it divisible by 2? No. 44? Yes. 45? No. 46? Yes. 47? No. 48? Yes, 49, no. 
Numbers that are divisible by 2 are 42, 44, 46, 48 because the ones digit is even number. Now, let us proceed to divisible by 4. Divisible by 4 is the last two digit is divisible by 4. So we have here 41 to 49. 41, is it divisible by 4? No. 42? No. 43? No. Okay. 44, is it divisible by 4? Yes. What about 45? No. 46? No. 47? No. 48? Yes. And 49? No. So, we have only two numbers from 41 to 49. We only have 44 and 48 as divisible by 4. Next is divisible by 6. For n, if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. So, we have here 41 to 49. So, 41, is it divisible by 6? No. 42. Is it divisible by 6? Yes. 43. Is it divisible by 6? No. 44. Is it divisible by 6? No. What about 45? No. 46? No. 47? No. Then 49? No. So we have two numbers, 42 and 48 as divisible by 6. Let us proceed to divisible by 8. From 41 to 49. 48. So 41, is it divisible by 8? No. 42? No. 43? No. 44? No. 45? No. 46? No. 47? No. Then 48, yes. 49, no. Let us proceed to divisible by 12. If the number is divisible by both 3 and 4. So from 41 to 49, started with 41. Is it divisible by 12? The answer is no. 42, no. 43, no. 44, no. 45, no. 46? No. 47? No. 48? Yes. Then 49 is no. The of teacher I is 48. Now let us check. 48 is divisible by 2. Yes, because the last digit is even number. 48 is divisible by 4. Yes, because 48 is divisible by 4. 48 is divisible by 6. Yes, because 48 is divisible by both 2 and 3. 48 is divisible by 8. Then 48 is divisible by 12. Since all the clues are met, we conclude that the age of teacher I is 48. Example, Lester got a passing score in their 50 item test in math. He got a score which is less than 40 but greater than 35. His score is divisible by 3 and is a multiple of 9. What is his score? So let us answer. Okay. What is us or what is the problem as for? It asks the score of Lester in 50 item test in math. What are the given facts? So we have score less than 40, score greater than 35, score is divisible by 3, then the score is multiple of 9. So what is our plan? Our plan is, since there are just few number less than 40 but greater than 35, we will use listing method again. Okay. Now let us solve. We need to recall the divisibility rule starting uh, from 36 to 39. So what are the divisible by 3 from uh, 
36 to 39. So, 36 is divisible by 3. Yes. Because if you are going to add 3 plus 6 is equal to 9, and then it is divisible by 3. 37. No. Because if you are going to add, we have 10. 38. No. Because if you are going to add the digits, we have 11. Then 39. We have 12, so divisible by 3. Okay? So we have 36 and 39. But the other question is, it is a multiple of 9. So what are the multiples of 9? So we have 36, 37, 38, 39. Which of this number is a multiple of 9? So we have 36. So the score of Lester is 30. Six. It's time to check if our answer is acceptable. 36 is divisible by 3. Yes, because 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. Then 36 is a multiple of 9. Since all the clues are met, we conclude that the square of Lester in 50 item test in math is 30. Six. Another example. So there are 36 pupils in the class. Teacher Rai wants to split up the class into equal groups. What are the different ways that Teacher Rai can split up the class? So we're going to let us answer. What is us? The problem asks for the different ways that Teacher Rai is split up the class. Then what are the given facts? 36 pupils in the class and different ways to split the class. So these are the given facts. So what is our plan? What is strategy we are going to apply? Okay. We used factoring, finding the multiples, and divisibility rule. So let us solve. First, get the factors of 36. So we have 2 times 8 is equal to 36. 3 times 12 is equal to 36. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Then 6 times 6 is equal to 36. So the factors of 36 are 2, 18, 3, 12, 4, 9, 6 and 6. So now we are going to write the answers in the table. So we have here two members group of 18, three members group of 12, four members group of 9, six members six groups, nine members four groups, 12 members three groups, 18 members and two groups. So, there are seven ways in which teacher Rai can split the class with equal number of members each. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. So, this is teacher Rai saying, God bless everyone and see you on my next video. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Paalam!